prove the distributed laws. And which one's the OR statement and which one's the END statement? Well, this one's the END statement. OR statement happens. So this is basically distributed to the Q and the R with the P rate. So P, P and R distributed to the Q and the R. And so you see what happened? I distributed the P and the N to the Q. I distributed the P and the N to the R. And then we put this in the middle, which is the OR statement. And so let's do the same thing with our statement over here. And so that's that's the best way to be able to tell what's happening. Down our components slash statement variables, which are P, Q, and R. And then we gotta put the truth values for those. So you could either go that way. Some people might they do it this way where they write out the compound statements first, slash statements that need to be negated. And then they go on to carry on to put on the rest of this. And so it's going to be P and Q. And then the following statement, oops, my bad. It's going to be P and R. And then the following sentence, right, we're going to finish our statements, our compound statements into one whole sentence. This is just one whole sentence, and I'll show you what I mean. This is just one sentence. Just a lot of statements put into it. Put on the truth values. And this is the most tedious part, right? So this will be true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. And so remember what they say about the last one, which R is going to be true, false, true, false, true, false. So we have Q or R, so we got to look at Q or R. And so that's going to be true. So we just got to look at one side and see if it's true. True, true. That's false. This is true. True, true, false. It says it's true, true. You can see these are true. And this is going to be false, 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 false. So we, we know it's all false. If not, pause the video. Take some time to look at it. Ooh. On the top. And then it's false. Right there. And it is true right there for the third statement. You see right here, true. True, then it's false, 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 false. And the rest are false. And we're going to look at P, and Q, and R. So I'll put that there, just in case you're lost. So it says end statement, so both of them have to be true. The first two are true, as you can see on the two columns. Q or R. Well, the third one's true too. And then the, the fourth one's false. And then the rest are going to be false because you can see the pattern right here. So then it goes false, false. We got to look at our um, table right here. And so this is true. True. Because it's or, right? So either or. This is true. This is going to be false. And the rest down there will be false because we have false, 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 false. We go equivalence to these, right? Boom. False, false. False, false. Thus we prove this following statement. So let's say logically equivalent. And I'll write it out just so you you're still a little confused. We gotta write out this. This is how you gotta write it out in order to get credit for these kind of problems. Depending on your professor, right? Because some professors might not ask you to do this, some might. It just depends. So let's say this thus we solve with the following solution, right? So that's our answer.